Hey guys, um, my name is Priscilla. I'm going to go ahead and teach you how to do a subcute insulin injection. So first, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash my hands. And I'm going to obtain my MAR, my medication administration record, and I'm going to compare it to my physician's order. So I'm going to go ahead and verify my patient, which is uh, Mary Smith. So Mary Smith. I am going to go ahead and uh, verify my five rights. So my right patient, which is Mary Smith. Um, right drug, which is uh, NPH, um, compared to my phys uh, physician's order. Um, right dose, which is 12 units, and 12 units. Uh, uh, right route, which is sub-Q, sub-Q. And it's going to be at uh, time, it's going to be at 900 and 900. Okay, so I am going to be administering uh, two um, insulins, so NPH and the Novolin R. So, right uh, patient, which is Mary Smith, Mary Smith, uh, Novolin R, a uh, Novolin R. Um, Uh, the dose is going to be uh, my patient. I just uh, checked her blood glucose, and her blood glucose level was 121. So I'm going to go ahead and administer three units. So that's three units. Uh, that's the right dose. And right route is going to be sub Q, sub Q, and 900, 900. Okay, so um, uh, my patient doesn't have any allergies. Her vitals are norm all within the normal range. Um, and there's nothing that's prohibiting me from giving her medication. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open up my medication card. And first, I'm just gonna get my supplies first. So I'm gonna get my insulin syringe. It's orange. There's only one syringe you can use. You cannot use anything else. This is your insulin syringe. And I have some alcohol. And I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, pick up my first med and it's going to be the NPH and um, this is so I'm going to do my five rights again for each medication that I do so it's Mary Smith Mary Smith uh, right drug is NPH NPH uh, I'm going to be administering 12 units um, right dose uh, 12 units um, sub Q right row and right time is 900 so then I'm going to go ahead and take uh, my second medication and it's going to be my regular insulin. And uh, so Mary Smith, Mary Smith. And right drug is regular insulin, regular insulin. Um, it's gonna be a sub Q route, sub Q. Uh, 900, 900. And I'm going to be administering three units, three units. So what I'm going to do is I can go ahead and wash my hands again. I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, get my insulin, my uh, NPH, it's uh, cloudy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll this insulin in my hands to mix it up. I do not want to shake the insulin, I just want to roll it to get it mixed up. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and clean the tops of my bottles, my vials. Clean it really good. Okay. So um, first what I want to do is you always want to obviously draw from clear to cloudy first, but when you're doing uh, when you're gonna be uh, doing this type of uh, NPH and regular, you first want to draw up your um, 12 units of well, air, of course. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some air in the cloudy first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get 12 units of air. Okay, so I have 12. And what I'm going to do is I already clean this. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get this and whatever I do, I'm going to make sure that the needle does not touch the liquid and all I'm going to do is put the air in here. Okay. 
So I put the air in there and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be drawing up th three units of my regular insulin. And so I'm going to put three units of air. That's three. So I'm going to go ahead and put the three units of air in the regular clear insulin. And I already clean this. So without touching the liquid. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and draw up the three units of the regular insulin. Okay. So um, at this point what I would do is I would have a second person at all times verify insulin. Anytime you're giving insulin you would want to verify uh, with another nurse. So I would have my other nurse check this three units. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and take that out. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw up my um, 12 units of my um, NPH insulin. So that's going to be a total of 15 units. And I want to ensure that there are no bubbles or anything of that sort. So at this point, I would double check with the nurse as well. Um, you always need to have two identifiers, so it's 15. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to recap my needle. And I'm going to use a one-hand technique. I don't want to use both my hands. So I'm going to just do this, make sure it's on. I can do it to a corner. OK, now that it's on, I can just clip it from here, not on the top. OK. So I have this ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my tray. I already cleaned my tray. I have some alcohol. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my medications back. So I'm gonna put these back where they go. And I need my gauze. Okay. And um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do my uh, five rights one more time before I leave the cart, before I go into the patient's room. Okay, so I have Mary Smith, Mary Smith, um, right patient, right drug, um, NPH, N NPH. Um, I have my regular insulin, regular insulin, um, right dose, which is going to be three units of regular, three units of regular, um, 12 units of NPH, 12 units of NPH, a total of 15 units. Um, uh, right route is gonna be sub Q, sub Q, and the time is 900, 900. Uh, I'm ready to go ahead and give my medication. So I have everything that I need. I'm gonna take this Thamar with me. You have to take this with you at all times when you take your medications. And I'm gonna clean up everything here. And most importantly, I'm going to go ahead and lock my cart, make sure everything is locked, everything is put away, don't leave anything out. And I can wash my hands one more time. Okay, great. So I'm ready to administer my insulin to my patient. So I'm going to go ahead and leave and go to my patient's room. Hello, Mrs. Smith. Um, my name is Priscilla, and I'm going to go ahead and be giving you your insulin injection. Um, uh, can I just verify your arm band? Okay, great. Mary Smith, Mary Smith. Uh, your date of birth, 2285. Okay, great. And um, just going to double check, verify with you. Do you have any allergies that I need to be aware of? No allergies. Okay, great. And are you experiencing any pain at the moment? Uh, scale of 0 to 10, 0 being no pain, 10 being uh, obviously the worst pain, 0. Okay, great. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and... Um, wash my hands, and I'm going to go ahead and put on some gloves. do it on the lower left uh, abdomen area. So 
what I'm going to do is I'm just going to assess her skin first. Um, uh, most importantly, I don't. I want to make sure there's no uh, scar tissue anywhere or any, you know, um, any broken skin or anything of that sort. And if for whatever reason I want to make sure I rotate the site, I don't want to put it in the same same side. So first, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and clean first. And basically, it's just going to be one circular motion of alcohol in a good one, and just drop it. So let me go ahead and open this gauze here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my gauze like this, have it ready and to go. And um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a pinch method. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, grab like this and I can still kind of do like a Z track method at the same. I'm going to go ahead and pinch the skin I already cleaned. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go at a 45 degree angle. So, okay, Mrs. Smith, on the count of three, one, two, three. And I'm gonna go ahead and just, and I'm gonna pull it out, let go, and I'm gonna go ahead and do my safety one hand technique, not with two hands. I don't wanna obviously drop it on the patient, but go ahead and um, do that. Put this, the gauze on there for a few seconds. Okay, great, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. I'm gonna take this, this, and this, put it in the garbage, um, put this in a sharps container, of course, uh, remove my gloves, wash my hands, um, and I'm gonna obviously make sure my patient is okay, make sure her bed's in the lowest position, her call light, 